Welcome. In this video, we'll be learning about some of Python basics. This is the second part, kind of introduction about Python programming language. First example here is a continuation on how we manipulate a dictionary in Python. First, let's see how this dictionary looks like. As you can see, it contains three keys as strings and three lists as values and its name is data as you can see it returned kind of excel table with rows and columns in panda we will call it uh, data frame so if you hear me say data frame that's what i mean now let's get rid of this as you may notice i didn't have an index uh, name now let's define a new name as uh, id by using uh, dot index dot name method and see if it works let's run it now perfect here in this line i want to set a value of 12 to the entire column price uh, by the way we call a data frame column by writing the name of the data frame with the square brackets and passing in the name of the desired column between single or double quotes. We can see that changes have been made. Ok, let me clear this. Now I'm uh, the same as the previous example, only now I want to change each value by a new one. Let's run the whole thing uh, without clear uh, 12 and see what what it will uh, gives us as you can see df uh, between brackets uh, double quotes price is a column in df uh, data frame and uh, a variable in the same time we can manipulate it as we do with variables now let's comment uh, df uh, price uh, equal 12 and remove any value from the list and see if it will change the, uh, the column price uh, values as expected it returns the initial values the problem here is uh, the length of uh, the column price it must be the same length as, as the given values now let's declare a variable and assign a range of numbers to it numbers from 1 to 5 and give it a name as sir and let's set the value of the object column to sir this is another way to assign values well you can see that it does Here I want to change the third value of the column price, uh, 0.6 is the initial value and I want to change it to 3.3. As you can see, I have obtained 3.3 as third value. is in method in panda library is used to check the existence of a certain value of values in this case within a data frame and it returns boolean values as a result true or false as you can see we have true input second in the columns uh, object and price which uh, where we can find pen and 1.1 almost the same syntax but this time I want a result only the true values in a real format it's really very helpful and easy to read let's clear the output okay 
and now if you want to remove a certain column in panda we can use drop method let's take this line and see how it works axis equal one parameter means that i want to use drop for uh, ac for columns axis however if i pass in uh, axis equal zero it means that i am uh, the rows well here i want to remove rows one and two you should always remember that python start with uh, zero like vba instead of one like excel spreadsheet just like uh, any programming language uh, conditional uh, statement in Python is uh, almost the same here we have already a constant variable i its uh, data type is an integer number 10 and we want to pull out uh, to pull out uh, the value of i if i less than 20 if not, I want as a result false string. The variety of conditions will help us understand how if statement uh, really works. In this example, I have a variable uh, price that I can give it any value I want. Normally, the data type uh, I'm aiming in this uh, example is a number. It doesn't matter integers or floats. But uh, it's matter that uh, the data type shouldn't be uh, a string. So to avoid this problem, I'm taking the given number, whether integers, floats or strings, and I'm um, uh, converting it as an integer. So Python can see it as a number. As you may notice, I have multiple conditions. The first, if the value price uh, variable is less or equal to 40, we should get the price is cheaper string. And if the price is less or equal to 80 and the price is greater than 40, we should get the price is cheap string. And if the price is less or equal to 90 and the price is greater than 80 we should get the price is expensive string but if the price is outside these number ranges we should get uh, the price is just exaggerated string let's test each uh, condition and see uh, the result uh, 30 65 73 and 120 okay the first condition uh, is okay The second condition uh, is OK. The third condition is OK. And the last uh, condition uh, is OK. In this example, I want to show you what happens if we declare more values to the same variable. 
as you can see the first value is uh, the weather is cool string now I'm commenting uh, the second value of the same variable x nothing wrong okay now let us see what happens uh, if I uncomment uh, the second one it changes uh, the assignment this is why you should be careful when dealing with the variables for loop is one of the most used concept in uh, all uh, programming languages let's take a simple example of how we can use it what this example does it uh, iterates uh, from 0 to 29 which means 30 times and print or store the count is uh, concatenated with the value of uh, the variable i We've seen list comprehension in the previous video. Now let's use it uh, doing a for loop. In the first example, I want to iterate from 1 to 10 and pull out the value of the variable i if uh, i less or equal to 5. In the second example, we will loop uh, through a range and pull out the values of the variable i in a certain uh, range of numbers while loop is another way of looping while loop is used uh, to execute a block of uh, statements repeatedly until a given uh, condition is satisfied in this example i is initiated as a zero and we will loop until we get uh, n less than five and we will pull, up, pull out or store the result in LE list. The same as the previous example, but this time I'm using a different way of assigning uh, variables. In the next examples, I want to show you how we handle errors in Python in a simple way just to give uh, to give you an idea when you will uh, see a similar syntax uh, the variable x is set to to number uh, 79 an integer uh, data type variable and we have here uh, three variables with different data types that we will use each time uh, to see what they return let's set uh, the first uh, variable equal to a string value and uh, see the result of the division as you can see we have an error that tells us that we cannot uh, use a division between an integer and uh, a string The second uh, case, uh, y variable is set to zero. We will see another error uh, tells us that we cannot use uh, a zero division as we did in the first part. Uh, the third uh, variable, y, is an integer and uh, is different to zero. So we get uh, a correct answer. 
the same example but in this time I'm using a different syntax I'm adding a try at the beginning and uh, except pass at the end of the code block let's run uh, each one at a time and see what kind of uh, errors and uh, results uh, we will get As you might notice, it didn't throw me error messages in both the first and the second case, but it gives me the correct result at uh, the third case. Uh, try and accept block in uh, Python is used uh, to catch and handle exceptions. It is a very useful concept. It gives uh, us the, op the opportunity to handle errors and exceptions when running a code without crashing. In this line, we have uh, a combined math calculation, addition, multiplication and division. Let's run it first and see the result. Now we need to define a function that takes two numbers and do the same calculation. Now let's uh, run it and see if it will uh, give us the same result. Next is a function called my function that takes two strings uh, parameter, first name and last name. When we run it, uh, we should get a concatenated uh, string sentence as a return. Well, as expected, we have a concatenated uh, sentence of multiple strings uh, values. Here we have another function called my function tool that takes uh, a list as parameter. In this case, uh, fruits list, and as a return, we should get uh, another list that have uh, a values, each of uh, fruits values concatenated with a string. Under code, is a fruit. In this example, I have uh, mixed data types as parameters, two integers and a string. Let's see what we will get as a return. This is a real uh, example on uh, what we can do with functions. 
on uh, how to do an uh, iteration using a defined function. In this example, I want to get uh, the location IDs from the list of values in uh, IDs dictionary. I have already defined a function called uh, geolocation that will return the desired piece uh, of state codes. Next, I'm going to pass uh, in the IDs dictionary in Panda data frame method. Then, using a for loop, I'm going to apply the function that I have uh, defined in each value and store its uh, return into li list. Now, let's uh, run it and see if it works. Perfect. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed uh, this video. Take care and see you in the next video. Salam alaikum.